Hi friends, before starting this week's video, I'd like to thank everyone for supporting my channel. Recently, Runaway Rice reached a milestone of 100,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for this. To celebrate this awesome milestone, I'm doing a giveaway in the upcoming weeks. Please follow me on social media where I'll announce the contest and let you know how to enter to win. Again, many thanks for your support and thumbs up. Now on to this week's video. In this video, I'm sharing a recipe for cheese bread. This bread is soft, chewy, and so delicious. One of the unique things about this bread is it's completely gluten-free. For the ingredients, have tapioca starch, corn starch, sugar, baking powder, salt, shredded mozzarella cheese, unsalted butter, an egg, and milk. Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Have ready a wire baking rack covered with a baking mat. To the tapioca starch, add the corn starch, sugar, baking powder, and salt, and then whisk together. Transfer the shredded mozzarella cheese into a food processor and then pulse until fine. This takes approximately 30 to 40 seconds. The cheese is now these crumbles. Add the butter and whole egg. Pulse together for five seconds. Add the dry ingredients prepared earlier. Start by pulsing everything together for 30 seconds. Scrape down the side of the bowl working in the dry ingredients. Pulse for another 30 seconds. For this step, if your food processor has a dough mode, you can use it. Otherwise, use a medium processing speed. Process continuously for one minute. Again, scrape down the side of the bowl and work in any remaining dry ingredients. Process again for another minute. All of the dry ingredients should be incorporated by now with the mixture still looking like tiny crumbles. If you pressed it together, it would form a soft dough. Process the dough for one more minute. In this final step, everything comes together and a soft dough forms. The dough should be moist and pliable and just a bit sticky. If processing for three minutes and a dough hasn't formed yet, the mixture is too dry. Add milk one teaspoon at a time and then pulse together. When the mixture starts clumping together, that's enough milk. One to two teaspoons is all that's needed. For my dough here, everything came together so I didn't add any milk. Transfer the dough onto a work surface. Press the dough together and then pat it into a ball. Roll the dough into a log 12 inches long. Divide the dough into 12 equal pieces. Now roll each dough section between your palms forming a smooth ball. Place all the dough balls on the baking rack about an inch apart. Transfer into the oven and bake for 13 to 15 minutes. About halfway through the baking time, rotate the rack for even browning. When done, remove from the oven. Transfer to another rack or plate and allow to cool for five minutes. This cheese bread doesn't get super golden on top like some other breads. The underside should be golden brown. If you would like to bake the cheese bread in a cookie sheet, reduce the oven temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The underside of the bread browns up very quickly using this type of pan. This wonderful cheese bread is pillowy, soft, and chewy. It may seem like there's a lot of cheese in this recipe, but the flavor is really mild and it's not too rich. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.